Psychic Sylvia Brown wrote in her 2008 book called End of Days Predictions and Prophecies about the End of the World, when she wrote about a pneumonia-like virus hitting the world in 2020 like the current coronavirus. Stating that in around 2020 a severe pneumonia-like illness will spread throughout the globe, attacking the lungs and the bronchial tubes and resisting all known treatments. Almost more baffling than the illness itself will be the fact that it will suddenly vanish as quickly as it arrived, attack again 10 years later, and then disappear completely. It may come as no surprise that Brown claimed to have foreseen an international respiratory disease outbreak, considering that the SARS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, outbreak of the early 2000s occurred before her book was published. Although it could be argued that stating a respiratory illness would sweep through the world in 2020 was accurate, Brown, who passed away in 2013, made a number of predictions about the future, including illness is what's going to ultimately end our lives on earth and how the world would end much the way T.S. Eliot predicted, not with a bang but a whimper. It may not be the coronavirus that she is referring to because although diseases such as cancer, Alzheimer's, leukemia, diabetes and more would be eliminated, diseases such as smallpox and polio would return between 2075 and 2080 in a sudden worldwide spread of diseases. Following a lack of vaccinations, some combination of that complacency and the unhealthy atmosphere we've created will give them the perfect opportunity to reappear, and that sadly, along with the toxic atmosphere and having nowhere to live that's not disastrously flooded and weather challenged is what will bring us to the end of our lives on Earth. Let's move on to channeling Eric, in the video in the description below, around the 743 mark as well other videos by this channel, explains that the virus went from animal to human as a slippery man-made biological warfare weapon and it was released by accident. It was made in China and was meant to be kept for their own people, to be used on their own people. A scientist and his wife made it but he ended up dying from it but the wife survived. As the video goes on, Eric reveals more about the coronavirus, watch the video to find out more. Moving on to a fictional and satire author by the name Dean Koontz, many speculate that he also predicted the coronavirus pandemic, he wrote a novel called The Eyes of Darkness originally published in 1981 describing a killer virus that some claimed echoes the current coronavirus outbreak. In the book, the virus is a man-made weapon, but let's not forget that a novel is a work of fiction after all. A character named Dombey narrates a story about a Chinese scientist who brought a biological weapon called Wuhan 400 to the United States. To understand that, Dombey said, you have to go back 20 months. It was around then that a Chinese scientist named Li Chen defected to the United States, carrying a diskette record of China's most important and dangerous new biological weapon in a decade. They call the stuff Wuhan 400 because it was developed at their RDNA labs outside the city of Wuhan, and it was the 400th viable strain of man-made microorganisms created at that research center. First, it's worth pointing out that in the original 1981 edition of The Eyes of Darkness, this biological weapon was called Gorky 400 in reference to a Russian locality. The name of the weapon was changed to Wuhan 400 when the book was released again in 1989 according to the South China Morning Post. It's true that the current coronavirus outbreak began in Wuhan, China. But the idea that the virus was created in a lab comes up again from what channeling Eric also said, many believe that this is actually a conspiracy theory that originated from unverified social media accounts and has since been widely dismissed by scientists from both China and the West, but of course China has lied about their numbers of people infected and the death numbers. Recently a lawyer Larry Clayman and his group Freedom Watch filed a complaint in federal court in Texas seeking at least $20 trillion from the Chinese government because of its callous and reckless indifference and malicious acts, in a statement it states that there is no reason why the American taxpayer should, contrary to the establishment in Washington D.C. have to pay for the tremendous harm caused by the Chinese government, the Chinese people are good people, but their government is not. And it must be made to pay dearly. In a later paragraph of the novel, Wuhan 400 has other equally important advantages over most biological agents. For one thing, you can become an infectious carrier only four hours after coming into contact with the virus. That's an incredibly short gestation period. Once infected, no one lives more than 24 hours. Most die in 12. Wuhan 400's kill rate is 100%, although similar, that's not the case with the coronavirus. Another similarity is found in the 2011 film Contagion, it's about a global pandemic that jumps from animals to humans and spreads arbitrarily around the globe, of course there are many novels and movies that can resemble this outbreak. Back to the lawyer Larry Clayman, 
the lawsuit claims that this variation of the coronavirus was created by the Chinese government as a biological weapon and released by the Wuhan Institute of Virology located in Wuhan, China, where the coronavirus outbreak originated. Although it appears that the coronavirus was released at an unplanned, unexpected time, it was prepared and stockpiled as a biological weapon to be used against China's perceived enemies including by not limited to the people of the United States. Clayman founded conservative legal group Judicial Watch and Freedom Watch, he is representing George Zimmerman in a $100 million lawsuit against Trayvon Martin's family, prosecutors, and others, and conspiracy theorist Jerome Corsi in a suit against longtime Trump ally Roger Stone. And finally, a show called My Secret Terrorists on Netflix Korea from 2018 on season 1 episode 10 at the 53 minute point showed characters using the word coronavirus and its real life similarities. But while many people may have only heard the word coronavirus for the first time in 2020, it has been around for decades, scientists first identified human coronaviruses in humans in the 1960s. Since then we have seen a few coronavirus outbreaks such as the MERS outbreak in 2012 and the SARS outbreak in 2002. In a longer version of this clip, the TV doctor explains how these diseases all come from the same group of viruses. In the show, someone tweaked the virus in order to make it more deadly. In reality, that simply isn't possible. COVID-19 is not a human-made bioweapon since it originated from bats. The coronavirus in the show also has a 90% mortality rate, while we still have a lot to learn about COVID-19, the disease does not have a 90% mortality rate. The case fatality rate differs from country to country and can be influenced by various factors, such as the availability of supplies at hospitals, etc. In short, the show does mention the word coronavirus however, this term predates the show by several decades. Furthermore, the fictional virus does not share all of the same traits as the strain of COVID-19, in other words while COVID-19 is caused by a coronavirus, not all coronaviruses cause COVID-19. You can check out the scene through the link in the description below. It is worth noting that the show had funding from the Korean government, so having the Korean government's hand in this how do we not know they helped with the script or production and had the coronavirus part in it from an idea they already plotted in real life. As there are many speculations and theories going around, there is something the governments are not telling us and they portray it to be something bigger than it really isn't, it could be to hide something that they don't want us knowing about. So many unanswered questions, and a virus can be one of very few things to shut the world down to distract us from not seeing something else. There have been many asteroids, earthquakes, and UFO sightings as of late, and the spiritual world is at an increase on Earth due to Earth's lower vibration levels, as this makes a global recession, it also makes a global awakening to be more alert with what is happening around you because the government has been planning something like this for years and now that they finally followed through with it, it is now a way to make the world go to shit for many years to come all for their own selfish gain. What else do they have planned or not prepared for if something out of their control were to happen? The government does not care about its citizens. We are anonymous. We don't forget, we don't forgive. Expect us.